Hello everyone and welcome to a very exciting video. The UK update from Asobo for Microsoft Flight Simulator has finally landed. And of course, being from the UK, I am super excited to bring to you a new tour series with the Piper Arrow from Just Flight. But at the moment, that's not quite ready yet for prime time. So we're just going to go for a quick spin around London. And I've literally just installed it. I haven't even uh, loaded this up yet. So this is quite uh, rough and ready. And I'm really excited. In fact, what we'll do is... Let's have a look what we're going to have here. Yeah, we'll use this aircraft here, the DA-40. And straight onto the runway. I think the music, <laughs> the music adds to the excitement. So I've got everything dialed in to ultra, of course. I'm, we're going to be using uh, just a monitor today. We're not going to be in VR because, I mean, as much as this is going to look absolutely amazing in VR, it's not going to translate that well uh, as, as well as I want it to anyway for YouTube so for this first flight we are going to be in 2D mode with everything pinned to the right with an RTX 3090 and my 10900K CPU so oh god guys honestly this has been, I mean I've, everyone's seen the trailers now and it just looks absolutely incredible so I'm very intrigued to see how this is going to run so as this slows, it's taken a while, taken longer than normal, probably because it's loading it for the first time. I shall see you in the cockpit in a moment. And here we are at London City. I'm so excited, guys. Let's see what this feels like now that London has full photogrammetry, especially for performance as well, which I'm not going to focus too much on performance. But I can tell you already that it just feels very smooth, even just trundling down the runway here. I might just put the frame rate on at some point during this quick video. Now it's also worth noting, guys, that my internet connection isn't the best by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I sometimes want, you know, I wonder how I'm a YouTuber because I only get about 35 megs per second <laughs> at best, really. So this will be interesting to see how that equates to something like you know London where it's so busy and full of data so far very very smooth indeed the flaps up here so as I can see here this area here is not photogrammetry so I guess it starts around around here actually yeah you can see where it changes So we're now in the photogrammetry now. Look, even the telegraph poles are actually... Uh, you can see the wires there. That's quite extraordinary. I've never seen that before. Wowzers, look at this. I tell you what, it's so exciting to finally see London. My home city in full photogrammetry detail. That is it's funny how, you know, some of the causes of that photogrammetry as well. Like, that is supposed to be a cable car there. And clearly it's picked up some of the uh, the cable but not all of it <laughs> and there'll be people in the you know in the forums complaining and showing all the weirdness of some of this photogrammetry but trust me you know it doesn't matter this is a flight simulator at heart so it's not gonna be like a you know it's not gonna, it's not walking simulator 2020 it's a flight simulator and you know I think even above say about 500 feet it's gonna look absolutely sublime well, you can see it is. It looks, I mean, so far, very, very nice indeed. Asobo have worked so hard to get this out, and it shows. You can see there the uh, famous financial district we're going by now. And some of those buildings are clearly points of interest there. You can tell the actual 3D sort of uh, handcrafted buildings from the, I guess, 3D scanned counterparts. But we're just going to go along the Thames here, see how big this photogrammetry area is. I cannot believe we're getting this for free. Look at that. That's beautiful. That screenshot. Sorry, guys. I had to take a screenshot there. That might even be the thumbnail. That is absolutely beautiful. And all of this is completely free. I'll just let that sink in for a moment. 
because they could have quite easily have charged, you know, even this ten pounds or something. It, it astounds me, I just honestly, because if you think back to um, when Microsoft released, what was it, uh, that awful thing after FSX, <laughs> where, you know, you didn't even have cockpits, and they were going to charge for extra regions that wasn't even aerial imagery. You know, we've come a long way since them days, because this is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to check this out in VR, but for this first, very first impressions video, I just had to show it with full HD quality, with everything maxed on Ultra. I don't think I'll be able to get away with this in VR with Ultra, but you know, I'll give it a go. Maybe on the Quest 2. Oh, there's a London Eye over there. Let's uh, check that out. Well, that's the BT Tower. Oh, there's so much to see. My goodness me, I'm so pleased I've got a week off work. <laughs> just to get this tour underway. And there's the BT Tower. Now I know that Orbex has probably had quite a hand in all of these uh, points of interest. And that is fantastic that they are on board with this. Oh look at that. That's even animated. Very nicely done there. As we get a bit further Back to the Thames again. Look at this. All the landmarks are showing there. There's a bit of weirdness going on over there. I'm not sure what that is. That might be a crane or something picked up by the photogrammetry. Look at that! That's actually modelled and looks beautiful. Okay, that's really interesting because, you know, it, if Orbex is involved with some of these points of interest, which I'm sure they are, they've clearly updated uh, many of their models to correspond with this new graphics engine. Oh, look at all those boats, yachts, and all sorts of uh, traffic there on the Thames. Very realistic, it's always very busy there on the Thames. And there we are, we couldn't not fly over Buckingham Palace, and that really looks spectacular. Look at the modelling and detail there. I'm definitely going to have to get the drone out and expect some of these uh, models even closer than this. It's actually making me miss London because it's been a long time since I've been there. I think because I do work around London but uh, I think the last time I was actually in the centre was when I uh, went to see a musical. I can't remember what it's called now. But, you know, I'm back there now. It's fantastic. This is really, really nice. Right, shall we? i tell you what we'll do, guys. Let's just go and put the frame rate counter on quickly. Because I know you guys are dying to find out what frames I'm getting. Bearing in mind I am recording. And I've got all my graphics to insane levels. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. Everything's on Ultra. So I'm being a bit cheeky here. But so what? Let's just try it. Right. Display frames. Here we go. So, okay, we're just nudging 50 frames per second. And that is recording as well. And I always say, if you can reach 60 frames per second, then you can definitely reach 45 frames per second in VR. And this is ultra recording. So, yeah, that's absolutely incredible. And interesting, you see there how the thread main thread and GPU is switching very quickly between each other. That's because I do feel the 10900K and the 3090 are very well matched in this PC. Oh, wow. This is fantastic, guys. Really nice indeed. I tell you what, let's put the lights off next. Pull the lights down. Oh my word, look at that. Now it doesn't happen very often guys, but right now I am lost for words. That is beautiful. Holy moly, I'm trying not, there's Big Ben there, to swear here. I love how the, uh, the wheel there is it's actually moving. Look at that for the reflections as well. A Sobo, honestly. 
you have done the UK proud. Well done indeed. If you are watching this, thank you so much for all of the hard work. Because I can't imagine how much work that's gone into this. And we really do truly appreciate it. What you're doing is absolutely revolutionary. And to be able to provide these updates for free is absolutely insane. Look at the lighting here. And of course, there's been a number of different updates as well, uh, including the clouds as well, which I think that kind of weird grain issue has now disappeared. So let's have a quick look at that. We'll go for broken clouds. It's amazing how you can just mess around with this sim and it just never complains. Those clouds are looking absolutely stunning. And I don't see any graining there at all. But I'll have to do a thorough test. So I can't tell, you know, I won't be able to definitely confirm that they've gone. But, I mean, you can see here that there's no issues with what I'm seeing right now. Wowzers. I'll tell you what, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think. But I am blown away with this. And we're going to do a UK tour series going you know, really in depth to many places. So I'll take you along with me and uh, we're gonna have a, such a great time. And we'll do a few live streams and maybe a few meetups as well, that'd be great. But for now, that's all I'm gonna do for this very quick first impressions. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.